guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. Today I have another vegan empties for you guys. I have not done one in a while and it's definitely time. I was like checking in on my basket, seeing if it was getting full and it just wasn't. And now it's like overflowing. So it is totally time. <laughs> now on my last empties that I did do probably about two months ago now, I had a suggestion from one of you and I think it's a great one where I should list all the items that I'm like going over with you guys in the comments below. I'll pin it so it's at the top. And that way it's just a quick reference for you guys if you want to even take a screenshot of it so you kind of know yes or no with certain items if you want to like mark it down for when you're shopping next. But also so you guys can have a quick reference too to sound off in the comments of what you think of those items as well if you have tried them before. I think it's a great suggestion. I'm more than happy to do it so thank you for leaving it. If you are not already subscribed to my channel I would love it if you would and you could come along this journey with us. We have a lot of fun here and I love sharing with you guys different things as we go. Uh, also guys if you could give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out and I really appreciate it so thank you so so much. Okay so first item is this Meatless Farm Company uh, ground beef basically beefless grounds. Okay I have always told you that like the Trader Joe's ones are my favorite and I still love those. Those are great but it's been trumped. It is so good, you guys. It really is. It is at Whole Foods. My only complaint is that it's only at Whole Foods from what I have seen, at least in our area. So I'm hoping that it'll become maybe a little more popular. I don't know. Now they do also have this in uh, the ground beef like patties. So to do like burgers with. Now funny enough, I don't know if I kept the package for it, but I did have them, but I actually didn't have them as a burger. I actually like crumbled it because I needed extra to make the spicy enchiladas. I will link any corresponding uh, recipes I speak to below for you guys to please try that one. It is so good. So, so good. Uh, <laughs> but I needed some extra and they actually we were out of this when I went back to stock up at Whole Foods to get more and I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? But I realized I still had the ground beef patties in the same like brand and so I just used that and this. It was great together but now I can't really speak to the burgers by themselves. <laughs> but anyway, but I don't know what it is. Like the flavor on this is just so, so good. It's great. I love it. Uh, it's got a very different smell to it too than like the Beyond Meat ones which you know is very good good. Most people do enjoy it, but it does have a distinct flavor and it has a distinct smell to it even that's honestly not that great. Uh, <laughs> out of the package, it's not. Now, the, the end result is great, but uh, the smell, I don't know. But this one is a lot different. It has almost like a sweet smell when it's raw. It's very weird, but it's so good and I highly recommend it. But please sound off if you know anywhere else I can find this because uh, I will want to stock up. It's awesome. Now, I actually have two of these. I have the Smart Bagel Everything one and then the Smart Bagel Whole Wheat one. So I did buy both. I got these at Sprouts. Now I thought what a great concept. I miss bagels. I don't eat them all that often because I think most people would agree it's not like it's the worst thing in the world. But when you are trying to watch your diet a little bit or lose some weight, bagels aren't always the best. Now that does not mean that you cannot incorporate some sometimes, <laughs> but you know what I mean. They're pretty high carb and can be higher calorie. And I was really excited to see uh, the Smart Bagel, 100 calories for these. Basically, it's like those little sandwich thins. It's what it totally reminded me of. And then they're like really squished, super thin. And I'm like, all they did was just make half the amount and squish it down and there was 100 cal calories for it. <laughs> I bought them. Now I love the sandwich thins. I really do. I think those are really good. In fact, I have some in my cupboard right now. And so I just thought that I would really like these, but funny enough, I didn't. And actually the wheat ones like stayed in our fridge because I just tossed them in the fridge just so they last a little bit longer. They stayed in our fridge for a long time. Like both Nate and I weren't really going to them as much as I like thought we would. I thought they'd be gone quick. I found them difficult to like prepare and here's how <laughs> I put them into the toaster but because they're so thin uh, it, it they almost became a crouton it didn't taste bad but it just didn't fulfill the desire of a bagel <laughs> if that makes sense but it did have a bagel flavor it did but I just probably wouldn't get these again because they just weren't really 
They're almost too small, too, for 100 calories. Even though that's low, it's almost still not worth it. Of, <laughs> I want more, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, this was just kind of a letdown. It's not the worst thing, but it also didn't fill the void. Does that make sense? <laughs> I also have a couple things that are pretty similar, but just different flavors here. These are the Nature's Path Gluten-Free Pumpkin Spice and Buckwheat Wild Berry Waffles. These have quickly become a staple and I love them. These are so good. Now, I was buying the Vans ones. Now, I think I've mentioned this a little bit on some hauls recently. The Vans ones is what I would typically buy. I liked the Vans ones because they were very easy to find. You can pretty much find those anywhere, even like Target, I think even Walmart, which is great, so they're easy to get. But lately, they have just honestly not been very good. Like, the flavor is good on them, but the way that they toast up, it's like they don't toast up. It's so weird. They come out really gummy and mushy. I mean, it's the best way I can describe it. And uh, I know this is really weird, but one of you said the same thing, <laughs> that it happened to you too. But when you pull it out of the toaster too, it almost has like a, it looks like soap on it, like little soap bubbles. I'm like, what is that? I mean, they kind of go away and then you eat it and it's fine, but like, it's just, it's weird how it doesn't toast right. And I have it like on the high setting and everything. Then I got these and it was like, that's what a waffle is supposed to do and supposed to be. These are super, super crunchy, not gooey whatsoever, and around the same price too. Um, I've been getting these recently at Whole Foods, but that's the only downfall too, is I feel like I can't find these everywhere, but they're also not the hardest thing to find, if that makes sense. I think Sprouts had these too, I think. And uh, the pumpkin spice was delicious and the buckwheat wild berry is probably my favorite, but they're, they're all really good. I don't know, let me know what you think of the Vans thing though right now. Like it just, I, I feel like maybe something in their like recipe has changed. I don't know, I don't wanna say I hate it, but I've been really disappointed with it lately and this has been the replacement and I highly recommend it. So another one that I have tried recently for like a plant-based ground beef uh, is the Light Life one. Now we did a taste test on their sausages and the burger patties, and those were very good. Uh, this was really good too. I was not disappointed with it, but I do remember the first time that I did try it, I felt like it wasn't cooking up right or it didn't really look super appealing because it kind of took on like this raw look, like it kind of got pinker, as, <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> More pink uh, as I was cooking it. And I'm like, oh, I don't really like the look of this. But then I just kept going and it finally got to a place where it looked right. Uh, but I feel like that was kind of maybe like sort of the downfall with it is you had to cook it for quite some time. This says five to six minutes. Personally, I think I did it for like 15 and it was still fine in flavor. But like, I mean, I'm sure it is fine at five to six minutes, but just in my mind to enjoy it, I I don't want raw looking meat. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I do recommend this, I think it's good. It's been on sale a lot recently at Sprouts with using their app too, so check that out if you have a Sprouts and definitely get the app because there's a lot of savings on that, you guys. Uh, so I always do that when I can, but I would recommend it, I really would. Yeah, it was kind of interesting that first like time playing with it, I'm like, what's wrong with it? <laughs> overcook it. I feel that way kind of about the Beyond Meat one though too, and maybe even that Meatless Farm Company one too. Like I feel like you have to overcook them uh, just for your own peace of mind, I don't know. <laughs> so this next item I believe I found at Sprouts, and many of you when I hauled it said, Kim, take it back, it's garbage. <laughs> And I was like, how bad can it be? It can't be that bad, right? Like, I mean, it's, it's a meatless alternative. It's gonna be fine, it's, it's fine. It is not fine, it is not okay, <laughs> it is not good. Here's the truth. Technically, I did not even truly try it. That's the truth. Because I tried to cook it and it did nothing and I put it between my fingers like this and I went, no. Like, it just were these little cubed pieces, almost like if you were to cube up tofu is kind of what it looked like. There was nothing to it as far as like seasons on it or anything. And it was so foam-like, it, it, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm -mm. no, 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 it had no smell. I mean, even the picture don't look that good. <laughs> I'm not usually that bad, and I'll usually try things for you guys, but I couldn't with this. It, this was no good. Now, <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. It's the corn meatless pieces. And I've really heard like nobody talk about this before. And I think there's a reason for it. I'm sorry to be so harsh. I will listen to you guys next time. <laughs> Here is a good one, guys. This is a keeper. I am so, so glad our Costco has this now. I think I did show this on our last Costco haul, and we've stopped by Costco a few times since then, not for like a full haul's worth, but just a few things here and there, and I've already repurchased this like twice. This is awesome. Basically, it's, I mean, it, to really compare it, it is like the one from Trader Joe's, the cauliflower stir fry from Trader Joe's. It is identical. It really is. I mean, really, I, I really couldn't say much about it. That's really different. Now, technically, it does have like a sesame ginger sauce in it, whereas I think the Trader Joe's ones has a ginger sauce or no, sesame oil. So it's like slightly different, I guess, but they taste identical. They really do. Now, this comes in a four pack in it. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. The only thing is with it, the, it, it's kind of nice because it's almost like it to me in individual servings, but that's going to be my point. Again, it comes in four packs, uh, but this says the whole thing serves 13. So that would tell you that basically each pack is a serving size of three, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> that part's incorrect. They, you know, they can't always be right, but... <laughs> The point is, uh, I eat a whole pack at a time, which is essentially 200 calories for it too, which really isn't much. Um, it's awesome. Add like a fake meat to it too if you want, just to even bulk it up. It's awesome. It's so good. This is a go-to of mine, and it's so, so simple. In the frozen food section, uh, in our Costco, it's right next to riced cauliflower as well, uh, so they have both options, but if you are looking at both, please go this route. Like, it's just the flavor is incredible. Incredible. It's so good. Uh, 60 calories per serving if you do go by that. So you think it's even a little less than 200 when I eat the whole thing. Anyway, uh, fat is 3 grams, carbs is 8, and 3 protein. It's just a great base. It really is. Or even just a filler when you want to eat a little bit more but you want to keep your calories down. Again, it's good for just watching that, you know? I love this. I highly recommend it. Now, I would totally buy at Trader Joe's too. It's more of now since they are so alike. I would just, wherever I happen to be, I'll pick it up that time. I think price point, you're probably going to save a little bit by going the Costco route, but I don't even think it was that big of a difference if you like break it down. So that's cool. This is a win. This is awesome. I'm glad to share this one with you. Finally, I am sharing this with you guys. I am really excited to share this actually. This is the vegan ranch dip. And I feel like we're kind of on the late show of like sharing our thoughts with this because it's just been at the bottom of the basket here for a while. But we love this. Now, funny enough, though, I will say what st stood out to me about it, though, is the strong dill flavor that it had. Uh, I don't really love dill when it's strong. You guys know I don't like pickles. It makes sense. <laughs> but I do like a little bit of the herb in it, like a dill herb, uh, in certain things, as long as it's not overpowering. I used to work at a coffee shop that made, like, pre-made uh, tuna salad and egg salad back in the day. This was years and years ago. And it was very good, but they would put so much dill in it that, like, to me, that's all I taste. And I don't love that. That's what I have flashbacks of. Like, that's what I remember with that herb. It, it's very powerful. And that really came through for me on here. And it is in there, so it made sense. But funny enough, like, I really enjoyed it. Like, I really did. But here's what's kind of interesting about this one. I don't think this is a bad thing by any means, but I don't really consider this too much of a dip. I mean, we that's what we did. We did carrots in it and stuff, but uh, it's very thin. I love that. I am one of those people that like even buying ranch dressing back before going vegan, like in a bottle, that gloppy ranch. Oh, I know a lot of people like it, but for me, no. Like I, oh, mm. <laughs> I don't like it. I love dressings to be very thin. I really like that. Even if it's a creamy dressing, I still like it to be thinned out. And that's what this reminded me of. So for me, I feel like this is more of a, uh, a dressing than a true dip. And I remember someone even commented when I hauled this, like maybe I could thin it out um, with water to use as a dressing. But I don't even think you really even need to thin it out. I think it's actually the perfect consistency 
consistency on its own to be your ranch dressing. So that is great news because sometimes finding a vegan ranch is not always the easiest and I feel like this can be it. This is the one. So I'm super excited about this one. Now, on a true like macro standpoint, is it healthier or any of that? No, not really. It's not. But you know, sometimes it's not really always about that, especially when we're talking about ranch. Sometimes it's just got to be what it is. <laughs> and what it is is delicious and high fat, and that's where we're at. So 100 calories for two tablespoons, 11 grams of fat, one carb, zero protein. Honestly, I think that's pretty standard to most ranch dressings. So again, I think they nailed it though. I think it's very, very good, but I just think of this more as a dressing. I also got these at Trader Joe's a while ago. I'm getting to the bottom here. It's been, <laughs> been hiding under here. These are the organic carrots. I think these are fairly new to Trader Joe's, but they're dehydrated rainbow carrots. I bought them on a whim thinking maybe that'll be something different. I'll try it. I love carrots. I really do, but I mean to have dehydrated ones. Didn't really know if they'd be that great, right? They're awesome. These are so good. I ate these quickly. And if you eat the whole thing, it's only 140 calories, which was great. And I actually didn't eat them all at once. I just had them as a little snack here and there when I wanted something crunchy. I would absolutely get them again. I feel like they're probably not, like, I feel like they might be overlooked a little bit of, like, people kind of go, eh, that's probably not good. They're good. They're so good. <laughs> so I was really happy to actually find these. I'm going to get these again. I feel like I haven't really seen them lately. I feel like they're hidden in the chips. And I probably went for the chips. I'm sorry, guys. I have complete, like, gym hair today. I tried to, like, you know, brush it and, you know... <laughs> It's kind of what it is. <laughs> you guys get it. <laughs> okay. I also have some new ones too uh, that we tried out in the last couple months, the Alpha Foods. These are good, you guys. You you guys told me too that this was a great brand. I found these at Sprouts. Uh, I got the Alpha Crumble Plant-Based Original Beefy, basically beef is crumbles. They're really good. And Alpha Strips Plant-Based Chicken Strips. These were awesome. See, that's the thing. Like these were great to put on a salad or whatever or in a wrap, but those other like corn ones, no. <laughs> anyway, these were awesome. I really liked them. I do think that the brand is a little bit pricey right now in comparison to like Gardein and some of the other like popular ones out there. But having said that, if you can find these on sale, which always happens, it seems like one or the other is on sale, definitely like get them, you know? I really do like them, but they didn't necessarily stand out to me though as being way better than a Gardein one, I guess. Uh, so it wasn't like a, a brand new must have for me, kind of like the Meatless Farm Company. That one actually, both Nate and I were like, yes, <laughs> that is different, that is good. But I really enjoyed these, I really did. So I definitely recommend them if you can find them too. So the next one, I actually got in a Vegan Cuts uh, subscription box and we hadn't tried it on film for you guys like we always do, but this was a full box, 25 little tea uh, packets and it's the Miracle Tree, Moringa uh, organic superfood tea. Moringa is kind of like spirulina and this one was in the blueberry flavor. This has quickly become a favorite and not just the blueberry, this brand is good. Like that Moringa too, like they have like a lot. It'll be Miracle Tree, it's the brand, and then it'll be this Moringa organic superfood tea and then it'll be like a different flavor. So recently I got my latest Sips By uh, subscription box, the tea box. Guys, you guys have to try that. If you are a tea lover, I think you will love it. I have my latest one here actually and it came with a lemon one. And I was like, oh, I gotta try that too. It's just so strong. Like, you know how sometimes teas, like they're always pretty good, but sometimes that flavor that it says it is doesn't always really come through. This one does. It's good. I loved it. And the lemon one as well is awesome. I think we have a few of these left, but we've gotten through most of them. These are definitely a keeper and I would totally get them again in store. I think I've seen these at Sprouts as well. Last couple items I want to speak to with you guys, and it's kind of funny because uh, 
I have been taking turmeric for a long while now. I really have. Turmeric Supreme by Gaia, I believe is how you say it. The brand, uh, this is the extra strength one. I believe I got this off of Thrive Market. Um, I have that link below too. I highly recommend Thrive. Love it. I just shared a haul with you guys too not too long ago. I love it. Now, if you're not familiar with turmeric of like why would you take it? I mean, not just the spice, but like why you would take it as like a supplement. Uh, and it, it is the spice, but uh, it's it's really good for being an anti-inflammatory and being more natural, of course, uh, going that route. Now, this one in particular, too, does come with the uh, pepper in it already. That is something that if you did not know, and I did not know for a while, you have to have black pepper and turmeric together for it to have optimal absorption. It's, what? Like, how weird is that, right? But this actually in the capsule came with the pepper in it already, so you didn't have to worry about like having extra. Now, this had 120 in it, and you only took one a day. So, I mean, I took this for a while, and I was really good about doing it. But funny enough, I have been out of this now for probably three to four weeks now. And I will say, I'm, I'm one of those people that like, do I see a difference? Do I not? I mean, I'll tell you. And I don't really necessarily feel a difference but I will tell you that I also when was when I was taking it I also felt pretty good and I feel like it really helps with recovery too when you're working out pretty hard which you guys know I do and I feel like it just it really helps with that recovery time so I feel like I definitely recommend it but I don't know if you would really feel a big difference right off the bat from doing it. I don't know. But let me know how many of you take this because it's definitely something that I plan to get again. I just totally forgot about it, to be honest. I was going to order it again on Thrive. But I, I do think it's really good for you. I really do. Now, this is kind of funny. <laughs> I actually shared this on my Instagram. Be sure you're following me there, guys. I try to like share with you guys more in real time, of course, there whenever I can. But this is something that I had shared with you about two months ago, I think. Now, Halo Beauty by Tati on here on YouTube. She launched her Halo Beauty line, gosh, probably a year ago or within the year. It is vegan and cruelty free, which is awesome. And I just thought it'd be cool to, you know, to support a fellow YouTuber. And uh, this was the Kiwi Seed Booster one. It was like little green capsules. And this is for clear, glowing skin. It was a 30 day supply. You take one a day. And I was just curious, you know, would it make a difference at all? Let's see. And I was really good about taking it at the same time of day and everything. And uh, I, I don't want to knock it. I don't necessarily feel like anything got like worse. But there's kind of a twist to this. <laughs> I didn't feel like it did anything. I really didn't feel like it. And I remember putting a poll on Instagram saying like, should I buy another one, give it a little more time? Because to be fair, I can't take one of these and think in the next day or two, oh my gosh, it's so different. You know, it, sometimes these things take time. So I totally get that. But I did give it a full 30 days. And I asked you guys like, did, should I get more? And it was pretty 50-50. Some of you said, yeah, get more. And some of you were like, nah, let it go. <laughs> and I, I did let it go. And again, nothing really happened that I felt from letting it go or when I was taking it. No big changes. But then, like a month later, where I'm at now, and I'm not like tooting my own horn, but my skin has been like the best it's been in years. Just this past month. Now, it's funny because that doesn't really correlate to this because I haven't been taking this for the last month. I did mention to you that I've like changed up like the face wash that I've been using, just hypoallergenic, very, very natural, like nothing to it. I don't even really put moisturizer on. <laughs> I don't really do much. And uh, I feel like it's been so much better. Like the bumpiness is pretty much at bay. Uh, the redness comes and goes a little bit, but much better than it's been. I haven't had any cystic acne around like my jaw, and this has all been within the past month. So it was almost like I, getting off of this helped. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea if there's a correlation there because it doesn't make sense. It would be more of when you're on this that it should be good. I don't know. <laughs> But I just thought I would share that with you guys because it was just kind of like, huh, okay, maybe you take it and then you get off of it and then it works. I 
don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is everything this time. I try to make it quick, but you know, I think it went longer than I originally planned, but that's what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I always enjoy hanging out with you, and I hope you guys have a great, great day. Again, please do give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. You said, hey, as you stop me just a second.